Hello, my name is Romy Powell, and the organism I'm going to genetically modify is the salt marsh harvest mouse. The salt marsh harvest mouse is an endangered species. It is in danger of becoming extinct. The mouse's habitat is being lost to pollution, boat activity, and salt harvesting. There has been a major decrease in its main food source, pickleweed. The salt marsh harvest mouse home is negatively affected by sea level rise. The rodents depend on tidal marshes to grow substantial amounts of vegetation. This leads to mice staying in the thick vegetation area so that it is safe from high tides. If the mice have no protection, they will fall prey to red foxes, hawks, birds, and snakes. Although the salt marsh harvest mouse is able to swim, it cannot travel far to find a new home. So, the new trait that these animals will receive is gills and webbed feet. So what are the benefits of webbed feet? The salt marsh harvest mouse will now be able to swim for longer periods of time and dive underwater. It will be able to eat underwater vegetation such as seaweed. The incorporated trait of webbed feet originally came from animals that need to move around in the water. Why? The closing in the space between the toes enables the animals to push more water faster. Now, an important question that arises is will the mouse be able to walk? It will. A certain amount of toes will help the salt marsh harvest mouse both walk on land and swim in water. The gills originated from aquatic animals similar to fish. The gills were developed to breathe. As fish evolved and grew bigger when time passed by, it helped the fish draw more oxygen from the water. Having gills and webbed feet will help the salt marsh harvest mouse. If the high tides flood the salt marshes, the mice would be able to survive and breathe underwater with their new gills. Staying underwater would give them more food options if their home is destroyed by the floods. Being underwater provides better food supply. What makes up the food supply? The salt marsh harvest mouse will be able to eat many types of foods such as fish which contains more protein, nutrients, and energy than vegetation. In addition, diving underwater provides protection for the salt marsh harvest mice. If the high tides or floods destroy the salt marshes, there will be no more thick vegetation to hide in. Thus, hawks, snakes, and birds will be able to easily catch them and eat them. Having the webbed feet will make swimming easier and faster. Without these new traits, the salt marsh harvest mouse is able to swim well. However, because these mice only weigh one eighth of an ounce, traveling long distances to find new homes will be very difficult. The new webbed feet will make movement much easier. Swimming with the webbed feet can enable the salt marsh harvest mouse to venture to new places such as freshwater areas. It will be able to survive there. Deoxyribonucleic acid or DNA is the molecule that is responsible for inheritance. It is a nucleic acid that contains the sugar deoxyribose. Now, the salt marsh harvest mouse has new traits, gills and webbed feet. Even if it mates with the regular salt marsh harvest mouse, the new traits will be passed on to their offspring. 50% may have gills or webbed feet, while the other 50% may not have gills or webbed feet. 
DNA molecules contain instructions for cells how to make all the other molecules it needs to function. Genes along the length of the DNA molecule of the salt marsh harvest mouse will contain units of inherited information, which is the gills and the webbed feet. An important process associated with DNA that creates the altered salt marsh harvest mouse is called DNA replication. It is when nucleotides line up one at a time across from an existing strand as predicted by the base pairing rules. Enzymes link nucleotides together and form two new DNA strands. So how does the mouse's offspring receive the same information? Copying DNA molecules occurs before a cell divides, which ensures the cells in the salt marsh harvest mouse all carry the same genetic information. The offspring of the altered salt marsh harvest mouse inherits DNA copies from the parents during reproduction. A mutation is any change in the nucleotide sequence of DNA. Small changes such as altering a single nucleotide in the DNA sequence can cause big changes in the phenotype. Mutations may occur when there are errors in the DNA replication. Mutagens are the physical or chemical agents that cause mutations. Although mutations are harmful, they can alter a protein in a way that can be beneficial in certain habitats. For example, a genetic mutation could be responsible for the webbed feet that of the salt marsh harvest mouse. The webbed feet that it has makes swimming easier and faster in all types of water environments. If a mutation is in the salt marsh harvest mouse's gametes, then it can be passed on to its offspring. Meiosis is a type of cell division that produces four cells, each with half the number of chromosomes as the parent cell. This process occurs in the testes of the males and the ovaries of the females. The different male and female individuals of the salt marsh harvest mice have the same number and types of chromosomes. Offspring of the genetically altered mouse has homologous chromosomes, one from its father and one from its mother. Each homologous chromosome in a pair carries the same sequence of genes controlling the same inherited characteristics. How do the homologous chromosomes have the same information? For the salt marsh harvest mouse, if a gene influencing the color of webbed feet is located in a certain spot on one chromosome, then the homologous chromosome also has a gene for webbed feet color in the same place. One chromosome may have the gene for black webbed feet, while the homologous chromosome might have a form of brown webbed feet. Homologous chromosomes may contain different versions of the parent's genes. One chromosome may contain a form of the gene for gills, while the homologous chromosome at the same location contains a form of the gene for the absence of gills. Parents pass on genes to their offspring that are responsible for inherited traits. Heritable factors retain their identity generation after generation. For example, for the mouse, having gills and webbed feet stay the same generation after generation. Biotechnology is the use of organisms to perform practical tasks. Genetical engineering is used to alter the characteristics of an organism in positive or negative ways. For the salt marsh harvest mouse, it is for a positive way. In fact, the mouse has improved resistance to diseases. By extracting DNA from a fish and a duck, the salt marsh harvest mouse will acquire gills and webbed feet. 
there must be a transfer of a desired gene from another member of the same species or from a different species into the nucleus of a reproductive cell. The manipulated cell is then transferred to the female. The female then gives birth to this genetically modified organism. It is primarily with the help of biotechnology that these amazing genetic modifications are possible. These remarkable accomplishments are achieved by the active participation of humans in the world of science.